Hello and uh, welcome to DCS on the, uh, the HTC Vive, which is, a, if you're not familiar, look at the beautiful plane, it's a uh, virtual reality headset. It gives you full 3D kind of depth perception and just makes everything look really damn real, to be quite honest, although it's a bit, bit low resolution. But uh, yeah, so I've got an A10. If I just uh, mind my head and uh, climb in. I'm going to be taking it out and doing uh, mid-air refueling. I'll take it up to a tanker and see if I can't refuel the plane in mid-air using VR. As I figured it'd probably be a good uh, good improvement if I'm just doing it on a 2D screen, although sadly I can't uh, present it to you in 3D. So what I'll be doing is I'll have the... Uh, what you're seeing right now, I'll shuffle it over to the left and uh, put an external view with it so you get two cameras. But uh, everything in this cockpit looks absolutely incredible. All these little dials and switches poke out at you. It looks gorgeous. But anyway, uh, to the air. Alright, let's start by telling the tank we're ready. There you go. And now the tricky bit. We've got to line up with the tanker and catch the boom you can see hanging off the back of the aircraft to collect fuel. So now open the fuel cap so I can actually take fuel once I get there. And now I've just got to slowly creep up on it. There we go, gaining on it now. Actually a little bit too fast. Oh, oh yep. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> Silly on. Right, let's try that again. Okay, take two. Okay, this is too fast. Too fast. Yeah, just missing it. Oh, did that move? Yes, it does move. Okay. Yep, you can see it's chasing me. So if I just settle myself behind the aircraft, the boom should come to me. Pretty close now. Yep, there we go. Contact. Uh, I'm going too fast. Yep, ah. And I've lost contact. Oh, I hit it. Uh, I think I'm taking. No, I'm not. Not connected. Nope, this isn't working. Okay, that's too close. Oh, uh, oh, where are you going? Uh, he's diving. I think I've upset him. Yeah, he's really diving. Oh, I think I've... Uh, you see the pipe's missing from the end of that now. I might have damaged it. Reckon he's going home. Okay, this is this is too quick. I need to pull the brakes on. Uh, no, no, uh, oh, I hit something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> wow. That's beautiful. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm getting a bit seasick now. Uh, no wings, engines on fire, lots of beeping. I think eject. Oof. Okay. Note to self slower next time. Alright, tanker number three. Let's just take it easy this time. Be a little bit less reckless. Ooh, a little bit faster I think, but 
Oh, no. Never caught cat. Caught it. There we go. Oh, no. Never mind. <laughs> Lost it immediately. And oh. come on, is it not? I think I'm pushing it. Whoa, okay, <laughs> okay, that went through the cockpit, that doesn't belong in there. Slowly edge up again. There we go, that's better. Just attach this time around. Taking fuel. I'm trying to watch the fuselage above me to the wing mirror on top of the canopy there. I'm trying to keep them in the same position while skipping on those little uh, coloured bands. Green means good, yellow I'm starting to get too close and red is where it will disconnect on me. So I'm getting a little bit close now so we just back off a little bit. It's probably a little bit too much. Fuel's going up. Probably a little bit too far the other way now. This is going to go well actually. A little off centre now. We're just trying to stop it from oscillating. Uh, too much up. Oh, that. Uh, yeah. I think I lost it there. Yeah, it's come off. And now we're turning. If it wasn't complicated enough, not have me do it while we're turning. Oh, 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 oh. oops. Um, I think we're all right. No damage outside. We lost the left screen. Let's uh, shut you up. Let's try again. Almost there. Just a little bit closer. Oh, okay. Oh no. Okay, can't see. I think we hit him again. Uh uh oh. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna need another plane. He pulling up? Doesn't look like it. No, he's diving for the deck hard. Yeah. I think I've broken his tail off. Right, tanker number... I think it's four now. Already up to the, uh, the pipe. Just trying to edge up to it. I'm also trying to keep the plane at the same distance relative to me the moment I catch the pipe but I have to be going fast enough to catch the pipe in the first place so as soon as I catch the pipe I've got to slow down and oh, there we go oh, no, immediately lost it oh no it's too close come on so close again there we go. Alright, so taking fuel now. Just sort of keep it steady, that's too close, and to slow down a little bit. Now we're going too slow, I think. No, that's alright. Just keep it there and keep it steady. I'm using the uh, tail. Whoops. Oh, um, never mind. As I was saying, I'm using the tail to try and keep myself orientated, so I keep an eye on the tail and how it's moving in relation to me, and I'm trying to ignore the fuel, the fuel boom, because that boom will come to me. I don't want to chase it, because I'll end up chasing myself and oscillating. There we go. Contact. And fuel. Just keep her steady. So if you look up, you can see at the top, that's where I'm focusing. I'm just trying to keep the fuselage and the tail in relation to the... Uh, canopy. Oh, we're oscillating again. Way up and down. Let's try and even run her out. It's not to fall behind me to speed up. There we go. Oh, too fast again. Just try and steady her out. 
get rid of the wobble. Taking lots of fuel at least. Just, yeah. So you can see I'm just more or less stationary now in relation to the aeroplane. That's done by very careful movement of the throttle. And all the control surfaces and keeping a close eye on the aircraft in relation to bits of my canopy, I line them up like the two engines in front just there. It's just left and right of my canopy. Oh, uh, um, yeah, I think we lost that. Still, got quite a lot there. So, go again. Coming up again. And contact. Almost full now. Just keep it nice and steady. No, 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 no. Slow down. Ah, ah, we lost it again. Come on, we're almost done now. Just a little bit more. And... Contact. Just keep it steady. It's that last little bit more of fuel I need. No idea how hard I have to work to keep this that steady. Just tiny, minute adjustment oh, adjustments on the uh, on the control surface. Just lost the uh, boom again. Come on, just just a tiny bit more. That's all I need. There we go. I'm slightly off axis though. Just to straighten myself out. Oh, pushing a bit too far. Started to bob. That's something I really don't want to have. No, I'm going too far the other way. You can see little orange and green segments are on either end of the green to give you an idea of how far the, uh, the fuel can extend. Oh, I lost it. Well, we're, we're so close now. Just a tiny, tiny bit more fuel. That's all I need. Come on. No, oh, oops. There. Uh, we seem to be alright. Last bit of fuel. Contact. Taking fuel. Just hold us steady. Come on, we're almost there. It's got to be full by now. Gauge looks pretty full. Whoops. Started bobbing again. Hey! There we go. <laughs> Four. It's really hard work to keep the aircraft that stationary next to the other one. Because your instinct is to chase that, uh, here we go. Full tank of fuel. Your instinct is to chase the, uh, the fuel boom round. But the boom will chase you. So you've got to fixate yourself in the aeroplane and try and ignore the fuel boom as you come toward it. Let it worry about uh, making the connection for you. I've got to say, uh, doing it in, uh, in VR has added quite a bit. You can uh, you can see the depth of the perception properly, unlike on a uh, two D monitor. So I can see uh, see the um, movement of the aircraft bobbling up and down, or uh, the speed at which I'm closing, but also the distance I'm away from things. I can tell where my nose ends and where the fuel pipe begins, where the tail of the aircraft is in relation to my my plane. So uh, yeah, <laughs> massive improvement over uh, track AR in terms of situation awareness, but the moment you go into combat or you try to do anything at long range you'll realise it's, it's got its drawbacks. You uh, sadly don't have enough resolution to see things clearly at long distance. But uh, the sense of presence as that gigantic plane sits there next to me. And how the uh, rest of the cockpit sticks out at you. Absolutely phenomenal. And another thing you'll uh, not be able to appreciate is the sense of, of scale you get from VR. Like that plane is absolutely massive. I'm in this tiny little cockpit and it feels all cramped and confined around me. And it's just, it, it's, um, it's immersive, I guess. <laughs> Best way of putting it. I've uh, I've done attempted refueling before with uh, standard screen and track IR, 
And I've got to say, it's probably a lot easier with the, uh, the VR. Although, uh, don't take it into combat, because you can't see well enough. If they can figure out a, uh, a system to allow you to zoom in and out when you're using a VR headset on the other hand, though, I reckon it'd be a very viable thing. Because you, uh, although you can't, you can read the dials, but only if you recognise the positions. You can see the hands, say, but not the, uh, not the numbers on the dials. So if you know the aircraft, you can still read them without the need to, uh, to lean in for a closer look. But, uh, yeah, that's the first time I've successfully completely revealed my aircraft. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching.